Garbage Bay um, came out of uh, researching on Jamaica Bay, and uh, it's it's reference to uh, to uh, around the fifties. So people would call it the Garbage Bay because there was um, and still are uh, landfills um, which are in in and around the bay. So. Um, and also before that it used to take in uh, a lot of su sewage from the city so f uh, around the century there was like uh, um, there was like 50 million gallons of sewage uh, let out into uh, Jamaica Bay you can say um, garbage is uh, a notion around material so uh, there's certain levels of qualities and some of them are waste or we get rid of and it's called garbage uh, so there's uh, definitely a, like a, um, a codex for different quality layers to material and the bay itself kind of has that function it's it's a, not neglected but it's it's a place that has a certain certain uh, space or let's say a, a position within uh, New York the New York landscape and it's one for where things have been deposited kind of like taken out so it, it's 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 a reference to to rethink like this this uh, this area and it's and it's uh, position today as being a, a place that is very like kind of highlighted and in the media and there's a lot of discussion going on on what's the role of this place objects found in the bay it came out of a few site visits to the bay and actually collecting material right uh, off it, like most of it is like kind of the debris or also we have uh, horseshoe crabs. So there's a, the, like, like the shells, shells of them. Uh, so there's a, a relationship between the, the photographies that are kind of taken out of like these site visits and the materials which is presented in, in here. So uh, one is also plywood and the plywood are the plates that are, were used or let's say are used together with sandbags when there's a, a flooding in New York. So this is a, a kind of a direct re reference to Sandy and uh, the Frankenstein when it happened. I wanted to make sculptural system you can say uh, that had certain cybernetic references there would be uh, flows and uh, processes of uh, deposition of material. Uh, let's say uh, some some of the geomorphical um, phenomena that creates the bay, uh, which is uh, sedimentation, flow, currents, uh, tidal uh, fluctuation, and this all comes together in in, in this kind of. Uh, mechanical maintained system so instead of having sand I thought it would be interesting to to play with the dichotomy of, of natural and uh, artificial so the uh, glitter is is a uh, is one of these materials together with PET uh, pellets and also from BB guns like small um, balls uh, plastic balls so they all come together and they they uh, they this they, they position themselves differently uh, within the within the structure. Uh, so there's a certain flow of these materials going through, and they are highly uh, artificial, superficial, and you can say glitter has certain ambient qualities that are difficult to kind of narrow down to where where they belong. But they definitely have some references to light in water, water surfaces and, and reflections. A little bit like a kind of a call from the past into the future kind of thing that also plays with, with some of the utopian and um, the, the landscape interest that, that Smithson was dealing with the, the, the post-industrial. Uh, and I think now we are in, a, in another kind of landscape that is about restoration. Uh, so there's a lot of ideas in play about actually also utopian ideas about nature.